So about the cables uh, for the Logic Analyzer uh, Pro PCBs, here is uh, what I do. And uh, this is just the absolutely <laughs> the cheapest, most simple way to do it. What I found is the DVI cables. And who's using DVI anymore, right? So everybody's tossing these. So look in the electronic junker and you will find the DVI cables. Inside the DVI cables, you will find four twisted pairs. And it's, it's quite easy to, uh, to open these cables by just uh, cutting uh, a little bit into the outer plastic. Just do like this, real slow, just so you feel the, the shield and not deeper than that, just a little bit like this. And then it's, yeah, you need to do it all the way, of course. And then just pull it open like this and then you go. And then you get access to the, to the inside. You find um, four twisted pairs inside, again, some foil shields. And you also find uh, some really nice and uh, thin wires for your lab experiments. So save those for later. So you got a lot of these really nice and thin and, and soft, flexible cables. So they're really nice. Inside the, the four uh, twisted pair, uh, you find out that if you take the, the wrong end of each, it's real difficult to, to open it. It's because it's twisted maybe the, that way. So it's kind of lock, self-locking. So just take the other end and then you just uh, turn and then it opens and then it goes super easy. I caught um, my cable to 50 centimeters and uh, so that means everything here is 50 centimeters so I don't need to worry about it. And in here there's also another little extra ground wire that you just take away. You don't need that. All the I suggest you take, you use all the uh, white ones for ground and all the different colors uh, for the different channels. Of course, you have for, uh, some sets here. I, I took some two different uh, cables, so I have uh, more different colors. But normally you just use one cable or maybe two cables, depending on the length uh, that you need. And then you just take the, the, the cables and solder in it. See the signal and the ground. Like that, it should be fairly easy to figure this out, right? And then when you're done with all the soldering, in, in one end, you, you solder on the on the scope PCB first, and then you twist the cables uh, a lot, you know, tighter, right? And then mount this into the, the plastic shells. Uh, my idea is uh, to use um, maybe um, a sock, one of these nylon so uh, socks, the black nylon socks, and have this outside uh, of all the cables, so it's really nice. But we'll see if I make it that neat. We'll see. So it only took a little while. <clears throat> um, I don't know. <laughs> it took me quite a while, actually, to do this real nice. This is only one side. Yeah. Well, well, let's see how long it takes to do the other side. And here we go. Now I'm finally done with all the assembly. And so it's really easy to plug in the, the final test leads into the pots. And on these, you can see this is 8 to 15. And this is channel 0. And here we go. Channel 0 is in here. And I need uh, 13 nanoseconds of d screw and uh, then it aligns just fine uh, this is 10 nanosecond uh, time base so and it's only a one megahertz uh, signal so yeah that's it